This is our stateroom, 7540 on the Disney Dream, and let me show you what it looks like. So on the back of the door, there is emergency information. You will need this for the first day of your cruise to know where to go for the emergency safety drill. There is also a room occupied sign, so you can put that on if you would not like housekeeping to come visit. This slot is for your key to the world card or any other kind of credit card or um, gift card. This one is, I ordered off Etsy, but it's basically to turn the lights on. So you stick it in there and once it's in there, it activates all the lights. This is the little air conditioning unit. You turn it to be hot or cold. Over here on the left-hand side are lots of cabinets. So up at the top, there are some safety vests and then moving on down, there's lots of hangers. This is a laundry service form. There's a safe, a shelf, and then some extra space at the bottom. We found that there was more than enough storage space for the two of us. Then there's a second closet, very similar safety information or safety um, vests up at the top, some hangers. There's the laundry bag that we were using, and then there are three shelves here on the left and just some space for hanging dresses or I put my shoes there on the right. Now, backing up, if we look over to the right when you first walk in, there are two doors and there are light switches for both of them. And this is something that's really interesting about this ship that we absolutely loved. So in the first door is a toilet and a sink and there are glass shelves all the way around and a towel. So this is super nice to have this. And then the, the shower room is completely separate. So this is the first room. And this is the day that we're leaving the ship. So the room isn't as perfect as it was when we first got it, but we've been living in it for five days. And then in the second one, there is a shower, which is incredibly small. I will insert a picture of my husband. He is 6'4", and taking a shower in here for him was like a gymnastic feat. There's a large mirror, and then there's this mirror right here that you can see, which is a super close-up mirror, so that's nice. And this is where all the products were. We only have the lotion left because, like I said, it's the last day of our cruise. But more glass shelves. There's a second a, a shelf down there. And then we have our dirty towels at the bottom because, like I said, we're about to leave. And then two, two towel racks. I really liked having this full-length mirror. It made getting ready really easy because we were able to make sure that we looked okay before we left. Moving along the cabinets over here, there are two more shelves and this one has an ice bucket so you can ask your stateroom host for ice if you'd like. And then there are three drawers here. We had an adjoining room but we didn't know the people on the other side so we didn't, it wasn't like a true adjoining room but that's what that door is. That door goes to their stateroom. It's not a closet or anything. These two hooks over here are so useful. We used them the entire cruise and we hung our lanyards on them with our key to the world cards, which we used very often. Over here is a little bedside table area. There's an alarm clock, there's an extra plug if you wanna charge something, and then there's a little bedside table drawer along with a light. I cannot explain to you how cozy and comfortable this bed is. We absolutely slept like babies on this. Plus with the rocking of the boat, it was like a dream. No pun intended since we were on the Disney dream. Same thing on this side, although instead of the alarm clock, there is the telephone system and there's another little drawer. Here's my husband. <laughs> Here's the couch. Um, we sat on this every once in a while and there's some art above it. This art is are some stamps that are Disney stamps. Now coming down here, this little ottoman is actually a storage ottoman and we used this for our backpacks and bags throughout the trip. Super easy to access but also out of sight which was nice because it kept the room feeling clean. In here is a refrigerator, a mini refrigerator. We use that a few times but not very often. 
Then we have the TV, which is great because it pulls out and it's on a large arm, so you can, anywhere in the room, you can sit and watch TV. The TVs are equipped with an on-demand system with every Disney movie. The live action, the Pixar, Disney Channel original movies, classic Disney movies, like all kinds of Disney movies. So we absolutely loved in the morning while we were getting ready watching a movie and then in the evening when we were winding down for bed watching another movie. Super fun and we were able to pick movies that we wouldn't normally have access to or, or you know have DVDs of or whatever else. So that was super fun. Something that I didn't realize that I really loved. Two more big shelves up at the top. A large mirror down here there are a few different plugs and things like that um, these are light switches that's a night light switch um, over here these are called wave phones and there are two of them in our stateroom I don't know if other staterooms get more if they just get two but basically when you're on the ship you have to pay a lot of money for Wi-Fi but these allow you to call other members in your stateroom for free so those are really helpful if you have like kids and you want to give one to your teenage kid and then you want one or if you and your spouse are splitting up to do something. We didn't use them because we were together the whole trip, but I could see how they would be really useful if you weren't together the whole trip. In here, there's more cabinet space. And then down here, there are three more drawers. And then there's a little low drawer right here. And I love this detail work on the wood. I think it's so nautical and pretty. I loved having this area to, to blow dry my hair and to do makeup because I could sit at the vanity and use the mirror and it was really nice and easy. There is a little light over here. I think it's for if this if they if you pull out this bed because um, it's in kind of a random location but you just tap it on. And then the only other thing that I missed in the room is this curtain, so you can unhook that and our stateroom host every night would pull that all the way closed. So when we came in, it was like super cozy and clean and the bed was turned down and then this was nice and dark and it was just lovely. It was luxurious. It was so amazing. And then during the in the morning, we'll op we open it up. Now the veranda was amazing. We loved having it when we were, especially when we were sailing. Um, it has quite an elaborate opening system. So I know some people are worried like if they sleepwalk that they're gonna like walk outside. But even when it's unlocked, you have to push the handle all the way down to open it. So it's pretty difficult. And then out here, there are two different chairs and a little table. And like I said, we are at port. We're about to disembark, sadly. But this is our stateroom, and it has been for the past five days. We have absolutely loved it. We were just remarking last night how much storage there is in this room. There are cabinets and drawers and shelves galore. So we were, even though the room is quite small, there was more than enough space for us to unpack. Oh, one final thing is that under the bed is completely empty and it's very large. So this is where we stored all of our suitcases throughout the trip. All right, and with that, I'm gonna sign off. That is our stateroom on the Disney Dream. We had number 7540. It is a stateroom that's very forward. It's close to the elevators. We loved it and we would totally request this one again. It's a really nice location and Thank you so much for watching. That was our stateroom tour. It is a stateroom with a veranda on the Disney Dream number 7540. I would appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and make sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more Disney content. Bye guys.